This is a Caravan Industry News Update. Brought to you by What's Up Down Under. Always good to catch up with Brendan from Roadstar Caravans and no better place than the Victorian Caravan Camping and Touring Super Show to do it again. Mate, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you? I am excellent too, mate. A bloke that lives a clean lifestyle like I do will always be excellent. Yeah. <laughs> no answer for that one. <laughs> They're all rumours, mate. They're all rumours. Mate, what's new in the Roadstar stables? Well, we've uh, launched the Compass at this caravan show. So uh, we've got a couple of models here which will only build over a period of time. Uh, we've got new sliders, we've got the saf uh, winning uh, Safari Tamer, so the uh, award-winning one, uh, plus the Little Ripper. So we've got some fantastic uh, product on display. Um, the slide-out is just an amazing van, uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, people just blown away by the size of the TV for a start, let alone all the cabinetry work and, uh, and the uh, fixtures and fittings inside the van as well. Mate, I had a little sneak peek at the Adelaide show the other day. The Little Ripper in stainless steel, that was a pretty oh, special looking van. It's one of the most popular vans that, uh, on our stand at the show. We've had created so much interest in that. They, so many comments, just never seen anything like it before. For a van that's only 16 foot 6 internally, you know, nice and easy to tow, single axle, off-road suspension, you know, it's got all the good gear in it and uh, then to look really good as well, um, you know, with this cladding, it's just unbelievable. It's fantastic. And the Compass brand, mate. The, you've really just sunk your teeth back into them in the uh, last 12 months or oh, so. Not Would even that be 12 right? months. It was uh, towards the end of last year, probably about uh, uh, August. Um, so, yeah, we're just really going to uh, fire those up again. And uh, with all reports of, uh, around the country, uh, as soon as the dealer gets them, they're selling pretty quickly. So it's fantastic. Well, it's a very, it's an old brand and it's a well-known brand, and they yeah. just sort of disappeared off the radar yeah, for a little did. while. Yeah, it did for a little while. And uh, as you know, Roadstar's been around for nearly 30 years, and. Yeah. Uh, Compass been not around as long as that, but it's uh, certainly a product that we need to get back out in the uh, marketplace. Um, there's a lot of demand for it. We get asked questions about it all the time, so now we're uh, really pushing forward with those ones. We've got, as I said, got two layouts on display down there, but we'll end up adding uh, more and family vans and things like that as well. And by introducing the new brand, what sort of ranges do you go from now, price-wise, between the Compass and the and the Roadstar range? Well, starting with the Compass, you're looking at your mid fifties. Uh, but that's got independent suspension, um, you know, 16-inch wheels. So it's got a lot of good features like that. Big double-door fridge. Um, so they're the things that people are really wanting. You know, obviously it's going to have air conditioning and all the other features, but it's a good starting price for people to come onto the stand, see it, and uh, quite often uh, they come in looking for that, but they end up buying a Roadstar because they can put all the other bells and whistles that they want in the van as well. So if people have turned up here thinking they're just going to have a little look and the decision making's further down the track, mm. have you got any fruit there to, uh, oh, to entice plen them? plenty of fruit, so come down and see us on the stand. There's plenty of fruit down there for us to uh, talk to them about. There you go. And uh, if there's any man here capable of making the statement, it's Brendan, so there's a big <laughs> deal to be done down there. Get Absolutely. Your hands on, get your hands on a caravan over the next couple of days while you're here. Well, we're not here for our good looks, are we? Well, mate, <laughs> I didn't come for a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic, Mac. Nice to talk to you again. Mate, always good to catch up. Thanks for your time. Get down there, have some fun, and I'll catch up with you on the site too. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks very much.